Psalm 2, the coronation of the king, act 1, the nations speak. How dare the nations plan a rebellion? Their foolish plots are futile. Look at how the power brokers of the world rise up to hold their summit as the rulers scheme and confer together against Yahweh and his anointed king, saying, Let's come together and break away from the Creator. Once and for all, let's cast off these controlling chains of God in His Christ. Act 2. God speaks. God enthroned merrily laughs at them. The Sovereign One mocks their madness. Then, with the fierceness of His fiery anger, He settles the issue and terrifies them to death with these words. I myself have poured out my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Act 3, the sun speaks. I will reveal the eternal purpose of God, for he has decreed over me, you are my favored son, and as your father I have crowned you as my king eternal. Today I became your father. Ask me to give you the nations and I will do it, and they shall become your legacy. Your domain will stretch to the ends of the earth, and you will shepherd them with unlimited authority, crushing the rebellion as an iron rod smashes jars of clay. Act 4. The Holy Spirit Speaks Listen to me, all you rebel kings, and all you upstart judges of the earth. Learn your lesson while there's still time. Serve and worship the awe-inspiring God. Recognize his power, recognize his greatness, and bow before him, trembling with reverence in his presence. Fall face down before him and kiss the sun before his anger is roused against you. Remember that his wrath can be quickly kindled, but many blessings are waiting for all who turn aside to hide themselves in him.